There is a cosmic puzzle that has been baffling astronomers for years. How did the first galaxies form in the universe, and what did they look like? Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we are closer than ever to solving this mystery. Webb has captured stunning images of some of the oldest and most distant galaxies ever seen, and they are not what we expected. These galaxies are surprisingly bright and energetic, emitting more light than we can explain. In this episode, we will explore these ancient galaxies, how they formed, and what they can teach us about the history and future of our universe. Join us for a cosmic journey that will take you back to the beginning of time. To understand these mysterious galaxies, we need to go back to the very early stages of the universe, when it was just a hot and dense soup of matter and radiation. About 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe cooled enough for atoms to form, mostly hydrogen and helium. This is when the cosmic dark ages began, a period of hundreds of millions of years when there were no stars or galaxies, only a faint glow of microwave radiation. But this darkness was not eternal. Eventually, gravity started to pull together clumps of gas and dust, forming the first stars and galaxies. These were very different from the ones we see today. The first stars were massive, hot, and short-lived, exploding as powerful supernovas that enriched the gas with heavier elements. The first galaxies were small, irregular, and clumpy, merging and growing over time. According to our current models, galaxy formation is a hierarchical process, meaning that smaller structures merge to form larger ones. The first galaxies were probably dwarf galaxies with less than a billion stars each. Over billions of years, these galaxies collided and coalesced into larger ones, like our own Milky Way, which has hundreds of billions of stars. But there is a problem with this picture. It turns out that finding galaxies in the very early universe is not easy. The farther away we look in space, the farther back we look in time. And the more distant a galaxy is, the fainter and redder it appears to us, because its light has been stretched by the expanding universe. To see these ancient galaxies, we need a powerful telescope that can detect infrared light, which is invisible to our eyes. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. Webb is the most advanced space observatory ever built, that it can peer deeper into the cosmos than any previous telescope, reaching back to when the first stars and galaxies formed. But why do we care about these first galaxies? What can they tell us about our universe? Well, these galaxies are not only ancient relics of the past, but also crucial actors in shaping the present and future. They are responsible for producing most of the stars and metals that we see today. They are also responsible for reionizing the universe, a process that transformed the gas between galaxies from neutral to ionized, making it transparent to light. By studying these first galaxies, we can learn how our universe evolved from a simple and uniform state to a complex and diverse one. Recently, Webb made a remarkable discovery. Using two of its instruments, NERCAM and NIRSPEC, it conducted a deep survey of two regions of the sky, called Goods North and Goods South. These regions are known to contain thousands of galaxies at various distances and ages. Webb spent 50 hours observing each region, looking for the faintest and most distant galaxies ever seen. The results were astonishing. Webb detected 44 galaxies that formed in the first 500 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was only 1 to 5% of its current age. These are some of the earliest galaxies ever observed, and they are surprisingly bright and energetic. According to a paper published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters by Pablo G. Perez Gonzalez and his colleagues, these ancient galaxies emitted 10 times more ultraviolet light than expected from our simulations of galaxy formation. This means that they had extremely high rates of star formation, producing thousands of new stars per year. How did these galaxies manage to produce so much light and energy? That's the key question that scientists are trying to answer. One possibility is that these galaxies had very hot and massive stars that burned their fuel quickly and released large amounts of radiation. Another possibility is that these galaxies had supermassive black holes at their centers that accreted gas and dust and emitted powerful jets and flares. Whatever the cause, these galaxies have important implications for our understanding of how galaxies evolve. They suggest that galaxy formation was more efficient and complex than we thought, 
and that there may be other factors that influence how galaxies grow and change over time. To show you what these galaxies look like, we have prepared some images based on the data from Webb. These images are not photographs, but reconstructions using computer models and color codes. The colors indicate the wavelength of the light that each galaxy emits, from blue to red, corresponding to shorter to longer wavelengths. On the left, you can see a deep field view of the cosmos with vivid spiral galaxies in the foreground and a plethora of much older galaxies in the distance. Pretty much all these objects are galaxies. On the right, you can see zoomed-in views of three of the highly redshifted galaxies releasing unexpected amounts of energy. They would have been formed in the first 200 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe age was 1, 5% of today's age. As you can see, these galaxies are very different from the ones we are familiar with. They are smaller, fainter, and redder than the nearby galaxies, but they are also more active and energetic than we expected. Now you may be wondering, how do we know that these galaxies are so old and far away? How can we tell their age and distance from their light? These are common questions that astronomers face when they study distant objects. The answer lies in a phenomenon called redshift. Redshift is the effect of the expanding universe on light waves. As light travels across space, it gets stretched by the expansion of space itself. This means that its wavelength increases and its frequency decreases. The longer the wavelength, the redder the light. By measuring the redshift of a galaxy, we can estimate how far away it is and how long ago it emitted its light. The higher the redshift, the farther and older the galaxy. The redshift of a galaxy is usually denoted by a letter Z, followed by a number. For example, a galaxy with a redshift of Z equal sign, one has its light stretched by a factor of 2, meaning that it is twice as far away as a galaxy with Z equal sign 0, which is nearby. A galaxy with Z equal sign 1 also emitted its light when the universe was half its current age. The galaxies that Webb discovered have very high redshifts, ranging from Z equal sign 9 to Z equal sign 15. This means that their light has been stretched by a factor of 10 to 16, making them very faint and red in visible light, but bright and clear in infrared light. To put this in perspective, the most distant galaxy ever observed by the Hubble Space Telescope has a redshift of Z equals sign 11.1, and the most distant galaxy ever observed by any telescope has a redshift of Z equals sign 11.9. Webb has surpassed these records and opened a new window into the early universe. Another question you may have is, how do we know what these galaxies are made of? How can we tell their composition and temperature from their light? The answer lies in another phenomenon called spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is the study of how light interacts with matter. Different elements and molecules absorb and emit light at specific wavelengths, creating characteristic patterns called spectra. By analyzing the spectra of a galaxy, we can identify what elements and molecules are present in it and how much of them there are. We can also measure the temperature, pressure, density, and motion of the gas and stars in the galaxy. Webb has two instruments that can perform spectroscopy, NIRSPEC and MIRI. NIRSPEC can obtain spectra of hundreds of galaxies at once, covering a wide range of wavelengths from near-infrared to mid-infrared. MIRI can obtain spectra of individual galaxies at higher resolution, covering longer wavelengths from mid-infrared to far-infrared. By combining the spectra from both instruments, we can get a complete picture of the physical properties and chemical composition of these ancient galaxies. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe for more videos about space and astronomy. See you next time.